it's just great to finally hold the book in my hand after all these years of working on it. it it's pretty exciting to uh, be here with all my family and friends and have them uh, support me and uh, just to celebrate this accomplishment. For those of you not familiar with the story, Saving Armpit is not a book about personal hygiene. <laughs> it's actually a story about a baseball team and they live in the tiny village of Harmony Point, the losingest town in the world, at least that's what the team thinks. And uh, it's such a lame town that they've even lost their name. So how can a town lose its name? Well, vandals came and spray painted out some key letters on the town sign, so instead of reading Harmony Point, it now reads Armpit. And that's how the team feels. They feel like they live in the armpit of the region. And then one day, a new postman comes who becomes their new baseball coach and things start to turn around and they start to do better and they start to almost win a game. And then they learn that Canada Post is thinking about closing down their post office and they're in danger of losing their coach and their chance to turn things around. So they launch a letter writing campaign to get the mail moving into Harmony Point to keep open the post office to keep their coach. But the, uh, the letter writing thing doesn't go like they planned. What if something about their life could really change by winning a baseball game? Well, really, what could change by winning a baseball game? But that's where my wild imagination took over. And in the end, this is what came out. And uh, I really hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it. Thank you.